Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Camille. I am a first year medical student as well as a registered nurse. And today I just want to do a quick video about a little bit of a life update, um, where I am in my medical school journey and what I'm thinking about the first year of medical school. All right, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video for everyone kind of going over what I've been doing in the last couple months and how the first year of medical school is going so far. Uh, it is crazy for me to believe that I am more than halfway done with my first year of medical school already. I have about a couple months left. Um, I finish the first year in July. That means I have two blocks left. So the way my school is broken down, we have a uh, systems-based curriculum, meaning we do one system of the body, and that consists of a block. Um, so, so far in my medical school journey, we've covered immunology. That was an entire block. We did cardiology, then we did renal. Um, we also did respiratory. We did GI metabolism, which is what I just finished. And the current block that I'm in right now is MSK or musculoskeletal. Um, therefore, I want to say that every block comes with its own set of challenges. I think everyone was a little bit more intense than I anticipated it to be. Um, and yeah, medical school is very hard as they say. However, it is doable for those of you out there that are interested in pursuing medical school as a career of choice. Um, there is a lot of learning, a lot of memorization, a lot of concepts to understand. Although I do want to emphasize that the information itself is not very difficult. Um, and let me explain what I mean by that. So the things that we're learning for example, in this block, the MSK musculoskeletal, it's not that the information is challenging conceptually, okay? There is just a lot of it. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. So for example, in this block, we have over 400 different muscles, structures, bones, nerves, ligaments, arteries, veins to memorize. We need to both know them, what they look like on a cadaver or a donor, as we like to call it at our school, um, as well as what everything does. So we need to know, for example, a muscle of the shoulder. What nerve innervates that muscle? Where does that muscle attach to? What does that muscle do? And what happens if one of the nerves, arteries, veins, or muscle itself is damaged. So that's what I mean that the information itself is not challenging. However, there is just so much to memorize, so much to learn that makes the entire process that much more rigorous and that much more challenging, okay? So like I said, it's not that we're learning some crazy concepts that just don't make sense because a lot of the concepts do make sense. However, there's so many of them that trying to find out how to learn all that information best and commit that to memory is the challenge. So kind of throughout my journey and process in medical school, I've come across different study methods and different study tools. And I will say that no block is the same um, for me, at least the way I study for it. So um, I use Anki. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with what Anki is, but it's tech, it's basically a um, online um, note card app that uses space repetition that allows you to or helps you to memorize facts and different concepts that you're learning in class. So that um, system works very well for most things. However, for other things, I find different tools more helpful. Um, for example, in some of the blocks for some concepts or information that I was learning, I preferred to teach the information. So what that means is I would, you know, read through a, an article or read through a paragraph, kind of understand what's going on in my head, and then go up to a whiteboard and just write out everything I learned. And it's like I'm teaching it back to somebody. That really helped me at least solidify some information and key concepts and facts um, to then be able to um, memorize that information and use it for a test for application purposes. Um, really also in addition to just all the studying, first year of medical school has been just a lot of learning um, or at least trying to find a balance between both school learning and just self-care and regular day-to-day -day activities and having a quote-unquote normal life, right? I really do try to prioritize at least once a month to go do something fun, um, either that's with myself or with some friends or colleagues or just doing something to get my mind off of studying because really you can get bogged down with just the sheer amount of information 
and it's like you finished one test, you finish one quiz, and boom, there's another one right after. And one thing I will always say is that there's always more you can study. However, it is trying to find that balance between, you know, understanding that you're not going to know it all, but you need to know the key concepts and be able to really connect the dots. And after going through this last block, GI, I really did start to solidify some concepts in between the different um, modalities that we've learned so far, right? So um, one thing that I do like about this curriculum that we have is some of the um, very important or um, key concepts do come up again and again, which gives you that time to solidify. So for example, if back in cardiac, you did not solidify 100% reading an EKG. Well, in last block, they gave us an EKG to read um, and again, tried to bring that concept back up because it is something very important to know um, for your boards, but also for just third and fourth years of medical school, as well as when you're a practicing physician. So that's a little bit about what I've been doing. Um, a lot of my time has just been spent studying and also trying to volunteer and do some extracurriculars outside of just studying, just to break up the monotony and also do something good for the community. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I'm hoping to bring more videos sooner um, than I did with this one. And if you have any questions, comments, want any requests for future videos, please leave a comment down below. I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible and provide the information that you guys all want. Well, thank you all for watching once again. Have a great one.